Today's lesson is called The Fruits of Polly's Labor. Remember, we learned that plants have different parts. We also learned about pollination, okay? Remember, pollination process is the process that allows plants to make seeds. The process is where the pollen from one flower mixes with the pollen of another flower. Without this process, a plant cannot make seeds. So today, you're going to learn more about another part of a plant, which is the fruit. Okay, The fruit contains the seed. Before we start the read aloud, let's go over some vocabulary words. Our first word is core. Say core. Core is the center or middle part of something. Produce. Say produce. Produce means to make. And our last word is scrumptious. Say scrumptious. Scrumptious means delicious. So a pizza can be scrumptious and watermelon. A nice juicy watermelon would be scrumptious. The fruits of Polly's labor. The fruits of someone's labor are the results of or what happened because of someone's hard work. I want you to listen carefully to find out more about the fruits fruits of Polly's labor and this delicious plant part. Buzz, buzz, it's Polly the honeybee again. Last time I told you that I visited flowers to collect nectar and pollen for food. I also told you that I helped to pollinate flowers by carrying pollen from one flower to another. Today, I want to show you some of the results of my hard work. You see, after I pollinate a flower, the plant begins to produce seeds. Remember, produce means to make. Lots of plants also produce a special part to hold the seeds called the fruit. Come along and I will show you some different kinds of fruits I helped create. Here's an apple tree. Earlier this year, this tree put out blossoms, which is another word for flowers. Apple blossoms are full of delicious nectar, which makes me especially love to buzz over and roll around on those blossoms. The nectar was scrumptious. Scrumptious is another word for delicious. But look, it was good for the tree too. Remember that when bees visit the flowers of plants, they carry pollen from one flower to another. This apple tree is now full of apples because my honeybee friends and I did such a good job pollinating the blossoms. The apples are fruit and inside each apple are seeds that can grow into new apple trees. The apples took weeks to grow. They were small at first, but then they got bigger and bigger. Now they are almost ripe. When the apples are ripe, they will drop off the tree so the seeds can fall to the ground and start growing into a new apple tree. Or a person may come and pick the apple and eat it. This is an image of an apple that has been sliced or cut in half. Here's an image of an apple that has been picked off the tree and sliced open. You can see the seeds. The seeds are the dark brown things in the center part called the core. Some people like to cut the seeds out of the apple before they eat it. Some people also cut off the peel on the outside of the apple. Here's another tree I pollinated. It's called a cherry tree. Some time ago, this tree produced lovely pink blossoms or flowers. Let me tell you, there's almost nothing more beautiful than a cherry tree in full bloom. My bee buddies and I spend a lot of time visiting this tree when the blossoms were out and look what's happened since then. 
The flowers are all gone now, but that's okay because they did what they were supposed to do. Now the tree has begun to make seeds and fruit. Have you ever bitten into a fresh cherry? If you have, your teeth have probably bumped into the cherry seed. Inside a cherry is a big hard thing called a cherry pit. The word pit means the hard part in the middle of some fruits that contains the seed. The seed of the cherry is actually inside the cherry pit. The tasty part of the cherry that people eat is the soft fruit around the pit. To people, that seems like the important part of a cherry. But to the plant, the most important part is the seed that can grow into a new plant. Now here's a different kind of plant. This is a strawberry plant. It put out flowers a while ago and my honey making pails and I visited those flowers as well. Now you can see that the plant is making seeds and fruit. We must have pollinated it. The fruits on this plant are called strawberries. You saw how the seeds of the apple and cherry tree grow inside the fruit? With the strawberry, it's the other way around. Look at this ripe strawberry. You can see the seeds all over the outside of the strawberry. The seeds on this strawberry are so small that people can eat them along with the fruit. Here's one last plant. It's a watermelon plant. This watermelon plant bloomed a few weeks ago. I visited its flowers and found the nectar to be quite delicious. I brought some back to my hive where the worker bees made it into honey. But look, the watermelon plant has been busy making something too. This big green thing is the fruit of the watermelon plant. It's called a watermelon. The green part on the outside of the watermelon is called the rind. The seeds of the watermelon are on the inside of the rind, along with some red, juicy fruit that people like to eat. Here's a watermelon that's been sliced open. Can you see the black and white seeds inside? People spit out the seeds when they are eating the red, squishy part of the watermelon. Well, that about concludes my little tour. I'm very proud of the pollinating work I did this year and I hope you will think of me as you are munching on the fruits of my labor. Delicious fruit is truly the result of Polly's hard work carrying pollen from flower to flower. That's the end of the lesson boys and girls. Go ahead and answer the questions.